I'll tell you a story. We were defending two Negroes charged with murder in a race riot in Columbia, Tennessee, near the birthplace of the Klan. Word had gotten out that if we tried to sleep there in town, they'd kill us. So we drove 45 miles to Nashville every night. We just, just left town a little after sunset. I spotted three or four state police cars. We get pulled over, I'm at the wheel. <laughs> sheriff says he has a warrant to search the car. And then the sheriff tells, tells him, well, OK, boys, go ahead and search the trunk. I tell my people, don't let them plant anything on us. It's a dry county, and everybody knows lawyers are going to take a drink. But believe it or not, we did not have any whiskey in the car. Sheriff says, all right, search this nigga lawyer. I say, do you have a warrant to search me? No. Then the answer is no. And he says, this must be the one. Get out of the car. What for? Drunken driving. I haven't had a drink in 24 hours. Then they shoved me in the back of a police car between two beefy deputies holding shotguns and drive off. Suddenly the car turns off the road and heads through the woods towards the river. Then we get to a place where there's a bunch of men standing under a big tree with a rope slung over it. Fixing to do a little lynching. Then the car with my friends drives up. I guess the deputies got cold feet because they turn around and drive me back into town. Now, the streets are empty. Hell, everybody is down by the river. <laughs> and the sheriff says, all right, nigga. The magistrate's in that building over yonder. You going ahead. I say to him, uh, you are not going to shoot me in the back while I'm escaping, are you? He says, smart ass nigga, come on. He takes me over. Little magistrate's five foot nothing. He says, what's up? Uh, we got this boy here on drunken driving. I am not drunk. I want to take my test. <laughs> what's your test? I'm a teetotaler. Never had a drink in my life. I can smell liquor a mile off. Want to take a chance, blow your breath on me. Well. I blew my breath so hard, I rocked him. <laughs> he says, hell, what are you boys talking about? This man hadn't had a drink in uh, 24 hours. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> I got myself on the fastest goddamn train out of there, and I had a drink. <laughs> <laughs> I sat there with a bottle of wild turkey. And thank the Lord. Mm. And then I remember the Negroes who stayed behind. Because they were the real heroes. I remember this one preacher I met down there told me he wasn't about to turn the other cheek. He said that in the glove compartment of his car, he had two things. A Bible and a 45. He told me he'd try the Bible first. 